Well, later in the same wonderful, action-packed, exciting day after I got my treated seed, a Victor, that's what it was treated with. I'm out here looking at this rye and I talked to the ergonomist, you know, the guy that knows a whole lot about managing soil and plants and stuff. And I showed him some pictures of this and he said, yeah, let this go ahead and make yourself some reusable seed. And I asked him, I said, what's going on here? What is, what's happening with that? That stuff right there. And that's this stuff pollinating, according to him. You know, he's the college guy. Now, this right here is actually the seed that's being made, but it's not ready yet. It's not there, it hasn't fully developed. So I uh, thought that was pretty cool little education I got. When I first saw that on there, I thought, Lord, some type of parasites jumped on this stuff, it's gonna eat it up. I mean, I didn't know, this is the first time I've ever let any of this grow this long. Uh, I've never let it get up to, you know, stalk stuff like this before. I've used it as a winter cover, but never seen the, uh, the seed tops and what they do. But in this little triangle piece right here, I fertilized this uh, twice, once. Oh, wait a minute. It was two different days that it was applied. Uh, the first time, this stuff was just looking kind of like grass. And then the second time I came out here, it was on up about knee high. And I hit it and then realized I had set the spreader wrong. So I went back over it again. So this is, was heavily fertilized. And this I'm gonna leave alone and let, you know, go on to maturity and let it make these uh, seed tops here that I'm looking at. And I'm gonna do my best to see if I can figure out how to capture these little things. I captured some wheat one time, so this is gonna be kind of similar to that. And uh, save this stuff, have it cleaned, and then use it as uh, seed to do more cover crop rotation type stuff with. So anyhow, what the guy told me about my nematode problem over there, We'll go over there and talk about that a little bit. One of the nice things about having a good battery in your tractor is you don't have to fear turning it off. You can crank it right back up. Okay, what we talked about, this is out in the, you know, odd shape area in the middle of my six acre field. And I don't want to farm this field with this funky shape in here. So what the guy told me, he said, when did you plant it? And I said, October. He said, when was it up? I said, October. Uh, so he said, okay, we'll call it October, November, December, January, February, March, April. He said, you've essentially had seven months of this stuff growing out here putting the root structure down in the ground. And nematodes won't eat this. Uh, they won't touch it. He said, so it's a good possibility that you've starved off a good portion of the nematode population that was in this area. So he said, go ahead, since you've chosen one of the absolute best treatments that you can put on seed, uh, a Victa was the name of the chemical treatment he said you've got your nematode resistance back up to a rating of about an eight um, he said so go ahead and mow this stuff off today's Tuesday and I'm mowing it down he said you know let it lay try to give it a day or two to lay and dry a little bit and uh, then prepare your land and plant your beans and he said chances are chances are real good that you'll have your nematode problem in this area solved. Well, I got 10 bags of this seed that was treated. The actual seed cost this year, it varies every year, just you know, a lot, of, a lot of factors in that. But this year he charged me $49.50 a bag. And then they charged $15.50 to treat each bag. 
Um, and I picked them up today, excited about getting them home, and know that I've got them. They're mine now. They're in my possession. There's no more calling up and talking about it. But I'm going to plant this entire six-acre field with that treated seed. And I'm thinking about uh, heavy population. Six acres here. Definitely probably going to go about nine bags of that stuff out here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish bowing this down. As you can see, i got a little start over here. And then I've got this here to deal with. And mowing it down with this wonderful little tractor here. And believe it or not, this estate mower, I thought I was going to have to go and change out to the bush hog jive mower. But this thing right here is a little hoss. It's mowing it right down. And I can't hear any belt slippage in the thing, so I'm going to keep right on going with it. But I'm hoping that they say it's going to rain tonight, which would actually be good for the corn that Cousins got in the ground. And... uh the beans that I've got in the ground. Well, I bragged about this little tractor being one you could just turn off and crank right back up, so let's see what happens here. We'll do the safety thing. We'll get up here in the seat and we'll reach over here and mechanically turn on the fuel. And there you go. All right. <laughs> 